Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome on in uh, to uh, Lady Tigers basketball as we have the first of a doubleheader. Clarence Jones along with Cameron McLean. Cameron right now has the starting lineups. Yes, for the Lady Tigers in the game, we have number 22, Ashley Johnson. We have Maylise Newbill at 54. We have number 20, Casey Johnson. And number 32, Aubrey Collum. And rounding out the starting five for the Tigers is Brittany McDonald, number one. For the Golden Tigers, we have number five, Nyla Moore. Or number three, Nyla Moore. Number five, Hannah Cannon. 21, Nylea Williams. 23, Catherine Glory. And Zan Lopez rounding out their starting five at number 50. All right, thank you, Cam, as we start play four 10 minute quarters and that one went out of bounds so a quick turnover and it belongs to the golden tigers shot put up no good from the corner from williams and as my partner uh, mentioned in the starting lineups uh, talia williams is the leading scorer from last year in fact uh, she had first team all honors in the aac which stands for the appalachian athletic Right. Uh, this is a player that you'll definitely see a lot of this evening. And a that, player that can kind of, a player that can kind of give it to you from anywhere. She can get you from three down low, mid range. She can kind of give it to you anywhere. And look for number twenty three. Out of the corner for three, no good. New Bill comes away with the boards. And as you mentioned, uh, it's Golden Tigers. They are one of those teams. They can uh, do some damage here this year within their conference. Absolutely. They definitely got a lot of wiggle room this year. And um, they're definitely they're returning their leading scorer and their leading three-point shooter. Um, and actually, as we're on the topic of their leading scorer, who is Nylea Williams, she actually dropped a 40-piece last year wow. on uh, Milligan. Wow. So this is de definitely a young lady that can fill it up. Moore picks up the foul. That is her first, team second. So on to the line to shoot will be Casey Johnson. Casey Johnson, the five foot eight junior out of Riverdale, Georgia. Eight minutes, 57 seconds to go in the first quarter. Second shot. Is no good. So still scoreless here as we are about a minute or so into this first quarter. Here come the Golden Tigers. It's the Battle of the Tigers. Battle of the Tigers. Three-point on the way. No good. Both teams cold in the early going. Cross-court pass. Dangerous right there, but it's controlled. Here's Williams. Williams with the basketball. Goes off into the corner. Back out for three. Well off, and shot clock violation, but that didn't even hit the rim. <laughs> so we got some uh, early shooting struggles, shall we say. Still no score here, under eight and a half minutes to go in this first quarter. Here's McDonald with the basketball. Cross court pass. It's controlled. Still time left on the shot clock. Turnaround shot for Ashley is no good. Rebound, put back is no good again. And now controlled by the Golden Tigers. Still nothing, nothing. Just underway. Thank you for joining us here on the VC Tiger Sports YouTube page. As McDonald comes away with that, she'll slow up for her teammates. Johnson goes inside. Nice pass. And a basket, good. Inga. Oh, Carlum, excuse me. That was Aubrey there with the two. Uh, it was Inga, excuse me. So Inga with her first two. And that's the first two of the ball game at two to nothing. You know, being 18 rows up in those dark jerseys and those dark blue numbers. <laughs> It can play tricks on a 44-year-old fella. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> uh, here's McDonald's splitting the defense. And so, that one was blocked. 
what I've noticed a lot this uh, early on in this game, but which is a little bit different than when uh, the Lady Tigers took on Kaiser, is that they're looking to get it down low a little bit more often, uh, as opposed to last game when a lot of their attempts came from beyond the uh, beyond the arc. And you know they would like to get it down low uh, to see if they could control that uh, post game here, as that uh, last two for the Golden Tigers by Nyla Moore. So it was a foul. And that was on Williams. So Williams, that is her second and team's third. Interesting there. They pass out. Go all the way to the basket. No good uh, there by Bunkley. So number 21 is in uh, there in the ball game for the very first time, and you're very high on this young lady. Yes, yeah, so uh, Tashima Bunkley out of Tableton, Georgia, is actually a young lady that I think is going to produce at a high level this year. Um, she's somebody, uh, again, much like number 21 for the Golden Tigers, she's somebody that can get you from anywhere. And uh, just, uh, just a freshman, CJ. Wow. High praises from my partner there as that shot is off. Here come the Golden Tigers. Back the other way, across the lane, and that shot is good for Forey. So Catherine Forey with her first two points, and it's a 4-2 Golden Tiger lead over the Lady Tigers. McDonald backs in down low that was and a great puts ball. it in. Brittany McDonald, her first two points, and we're tied at four. Here's the shot put up, no good. By Forey. So the Lady Tigers holding the uh, Golden Tiger, Golden Tigers to uh, only one opportunity. No second chances. No second chance points so far. Here's Bunkley. Goal is inside, and the ball tapped out of bounds, and it will belong to Voorhees. I gotta like what Coach Glover's doing right now. He's feeding his go-to players. Definitely in that post. I got to love what he's doing right now. We can get Ashley Johnson a few more touches. Things can start to go well for her. Jill Pittman comes in for the first time uh, for the Golden Tigers. Also, also sitting on the bench, Talia Williams, number 21, for the first time. As we have a traveling violation called against... The Lady Tigers, called on Bunkley. Five minutes and 26 seconds to go. We're tied at four, a low scoring first quarter. Uh, of course, you could comment. Let us know where you're watching us from. As the basket's good for Forey. So that's our second field goal. She has four points and it's a 6-4 Golden Tiger lead. And a turnover there. And Coach Glover wants a 30. Give him a 30. So we'll give him a 30. And it's five minutes, seven seconds to go. Six to four is our score. Boy, he's down uh, uh, to brand new uh, Golden Tigers. And uh, what do you see there out there so far, Cam? Uh, definitely on on for the for the Lady Tigers. I see that they're doing a, they're they're getting it in the paint a lot more than they were uh, a, a game before when we took on Kaiser um, this past weekend um, for the. For the Golden Tigers, their uh, their 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 main three-point shooter, Kathleen Forey, she hasn't quite been on this game. You know, uncharacteristically, uh, most of her her four points have come inside the paint. So um, look for her to try to heat it up here later on in the in the in the first half. And also, haven't heard much from Talia Williams so far in this first quarter. Yeah, and uh, Talia Williams is supposed is supposed to be their best player right on that squad. So. Uh, we'll see what happens here coming out of the timeout. Brand new with the basketball. And uh, once again, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. And you can comment, like, and subscribe our VC Tiger Sports page on YouTube. And you can comment, let us know where you're watching us from. As we have a tie up on the floor, jump ball. And. Uh, it will go to the Golden Tigers. 
Thank you so very much uh, for tuning in, wherever you are at. I see somebody is uh, watching us all the way from Texas. <laughs> Of course, the, uh, from Houston, Texas, and you know what's going on there tonight, your favorite uh, game, baseball. <laughs> Guys, if I kid, okay? He's a football guy. That basketball, football, basketball, basketball. I just, I couldn't quite get into baseball. They stuck me in the outfit, outfield uh, when I was in middle school, and nobody could ever seem to hit it that far, so I got pretty bored. <laughs> All right, it's 7-4 uh, is our score. Golden Tigers on top of the Lady Tigers. Here's McDonald splitting the defense in the lane and no good. Rebound to Pittman. Pittman falls to the floor. Tie up. Golden Tigers come away with it. Four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. It's 7-4. Spin move inside. No good. Golden Tigers still with it. From the three-point, no good. But the follow is there for Lopez. So Lopez with her first two points, and it's now 9-4. Golden Tigers on top of the Lady Tigers. So the one thing the Lady Tigers are going to have to be mindful of is that this team ranks six in the NAI Division One in defensive rebounding. So they're going to have to make their first shot here tonight. William, no look pass. No good. The easy layup, Hannah Cannon, and I think a Lady Tiger probably came flying through there at the last second just to kind of distract her uh, eyesight. So Malise Newville checks back in. And also checking in uh, Destiny Owens for the Lady Tigers, checking in. Coming up on three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Thank you for those uh, watching us in Florida and all around South Carolina. Three-pointer is good there for Cannon. So Cannon with her first field goal, and it's 12 to 4. And as you mentioned, we have to play that defense around that perimeter. They like to put up those threes. Shot up, no good for Owens. Back come the Golden Tigers looking to run here. Out of the corner for three, and again, back-to-back -back threes for the Golden Tigers. That was great defense, but that's also what you call even better offense. Yes, Jill Pittman. And that is the second straight three-pointer. And that one is blocked there by Lopez. Lopez. 5'11 on paper, but she looked like she's 6'1. <laughs> Lopez will try for three. Air ball. Pitman comes away with it as it goes off of the hands of Bunkley. Peyton Hicks comes in for the first time for the Golden Tigers as we have an injured Lady Tiger and she is hurt badly. Look like a shoulder, a shoulder situation. Nurse Williams, our uh, great school nurse, she's uh, there to help out. Also, want to point out that she's the twenty Voorhees College twenty twenty Co Staff of the Year. Congratulations! So, Casey Johnson. We'll go to the locker room, but I'm glad she's under, you know, her own power. But I know that shoulder hurts. Yeah. That shoulder hurts. That could be a case you may have, you know, you, uh, dislocate your shoulder. You may you have know, to pop it in. That's definitely one of those things, you know, you, you, you look at it and you see it, but you, you just want to, you, you, you pray for the best. Oh, yeah. You pray for the best. Yes. So we hope everything is all right with uh, Casey back there, of course. We have some great medical people on hand to take care of the situation. All right, back to live basketball. Out of the corner, no, That's steps. So, Forey called for the steps. 
So with two minutes and 28 seconds to go in the first quarter, and Diamond Over will check in for the first time. And again, Diamond, you know, when she comes in, she can be one of those uh, light it up quick type yeah, players. So definitely Coach Glover is looking for her to provide that spark off the bench to get this, um, this lackluster offense going right now as we have another turnover. Another turnover. You can't score any baskets if you're uh, turning the ball over. Correct. You got to have the ball in your possession. Got to have it. 15-4 to four is our score with two minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the first quarter. As the Golden Tigers on top. As they started uh, heating up on the shooting side. Meanwhile, for boys, uh, only two field goals here so far for the Lady Tigers. Some good ball movement going on. High arcing three-point shot is no good for Peyton Hicks. Back come the Lady Tigers. This is McDonald. Pass it off. And the basket's good. There for Newbill. And Newbill with her first two points. And it's 15 to 6. And a palming violation called against the Golden Tigers. So maybe this is uh, some spark here coming up. Definitely the spark that the Tigers are looking for. Um, the Golden Tigers are shooting themselves in the foot right now. Let's see if the Lady Tigers can make them pay. Here's Culver. Straight away, three pointer on the way is no good. Corey on with the rebound. 15 to 6 is our score. A minute 10 remaining in the first quarter. First game of a doubleheader coming up here. Our second game, Columbia International University will take on the Tigers of Voorhees. Shot in the lane is no good for Hicks. They're getting some good looks. They're just not hitting them. Right. And I, I definitely want to commend the Tigers on their uh, defensive rebounding also. Yes. Over unable to hit. In the corner. And that one, I want to say it was partially blocked, but it looked like uh, Gauls was a bit too low underneath the basket, and the backboard also had a little piece of it. That's her first team's fifth. Into the game, the Golden Tigers is number 34. And number 21. All right, with 37.7 seconds to go. We have New Bill at the line of shooting. New Bill already with two points. Look for points three and four. Now close the gap a little bit. 15 to seven. Second shot, no good. The one out of two from the line. Golden Tigers cannot hold for the final shot. It's about a seven second difference between shot clock and game clock. There's the a shot. Oh, they'll call the foul against Buckley. Well, no more there. One. I don't know about that one, CJ. Uh, look kind of all ballish to me, but. It is what the uh, officials say. Shot is good for Nyla Moore. Moore able to hit. So it's now a 10 point. Golden Tiger lead in the Battle of the Tigers over the Voorhees Lady Tigers, 17-7. Shot clock turned off. Lady Tigers can hold for the final shot of the first quarter. Coming up on 10 seconds is Bunkley. Culver at the top of the circle. Culver loses her dribble. Bodies to the floor. It's picked up. Long range three. That's it. 
And in one, it is 17 to 7. Uh, the Golden Tigers leading the Lady Tigers of Voorhees after one. Clarence Jones along with Cameron McLean and Cam. Uh, what did you see out there after this first period? Well, the it, it's definitely a closer game than the score indicates right now. I know it's only a 10-point game. Um, both teams have struggled offensively. Um, definitely look for both teams to try to, to try to sew some things up in, in here in this second quarter to try to generate some offense for our Lady Tigers. We've got to find some offense. Got to find some offense. Got to hit some perimeter shots and also get some stuff going to the basket. Um, I definitely want to highlight one of the guards that just came in that I'm also pretty high on, Diamond Bullard out of New York. Now, she's definitely a guard that's not going to try to do too much. She'll run your offense. And uh, definitely look for her in the second here later on in this, this second quarter to try to turn things up a little bit. Well, we'll see what happens in this uh, second quarter. Once again, thank you so very much for those uh, tuning in on our VC Tiger Sports YouTube page. Uh, comment. Like and subscribe, comment, as always. Let us know where you're watching the game from. Uh, I think we have a couple of people from uh, out of Houston uh, cheering for Gauls uh, from uh, right now. So, and we have a double dribble. That's called, and as you mentioned, Got Diamond put, Bullet in the game for the first time. Got to put the ball on the ground before you move. Just about 15 seconds into the second quarter, it's 17 to 7 is our score. Golden Tigers leading the Lady Tigers. Here's Moore. Moore down the lane. Floater is good. So Moore now with six points on the evening, and it's a 19 to 7 Golden Tiger lead. Shot up, no good. New Bill gets a home rebound and puts it back in. New Bill with five points on the evening, and it's back down to a 10 point lead at 19 to 9. Shot inside, no good. Lady Tiger is only holding them to one shot. One shot, and that's it. Here's Bullard. A bit too strong off the glass. Oh, get it out of there. Cobra, nice play. Here's more. Over to Williams. Williams. Can't hit. Williams still quiet here in uh, uh, in this game. Yeah, definitely uncharacteristic. No points so far for uh, the leader score from last year. It's a shot up for three. It's no good. Williams on with the rebound. Kicks it up court. Here's Moore. Moore having a hot hand of this first half. And that shot was altered just a little bit there. That's what you call a million-dollar move with a $2 finish. <laughs> uh, here's Cover. Buckley along the baseline. Can't hit. Can't seem to find it here. Bullet inside. She's fouled. So Bullet will go to the line. Nyla Moore picks up her second. And that is the team's uh, first in this second period. With seven minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the first half, it's still a 10-point Golden Tiger lead over the Lady Tigers, 19-9. So Bullet on the line, shooting. And Cam, you said you, you you are high on this person as well. Absolutely. Um, again, uh, she may not be a freshman, but this is her first time with the Voorhees College Tigers, mm -hmm. Lady Tigers. So uh, it's going to take her a, a, a little while to get into the rotation and kind of get the feel for for uh, feel for the game. Um, but also, a lot of these players, this is a lot. Uh, Coach Glover's got a lot of new faces on his roster this season. And you still got, you know, you got to have that chemistry. Absolutely. It's going to take a while. It's definitely going to take a while. I, I, I'm pretty sure by the second or third road trip, they'll start to, to, to really uh, mesh and gel as a group. 19 to 11 is our score. A little backcourt press here by the Lady Tigers as they cross the timeline. 
Golden Tigers. Oh, nice defense there for Cobra cutting off that pass along the baseline. Here's Cobra. Three pointer on the way. No good. Lopez on with the rebound. And she'll dribble it up the court herself. Oh, wow. Takes it in all the way and <laughs> rims in and out. Man, that thing did everything but go down. Yes. There's McDonald. Gives it off. Cobra. Foot on the line. Lopez. Gotta take that first shot. Gotta take that first one. That hesitation is probably what made her miss that one. Under seven minutes to go. 19 uh, for the Golden Tigers, 11 for the Lady Tigers. All the way, Jasmine Jackson. So Jackson off the bench scores her first two points, and it's a 10 point Brunel lead at 21 to 11. Shot just inside the three point line as McDonald. It's her second field goal, and it's 21-13 to 13 now. Three-pointer on the way for Forey. No good. Lopez break, takes it up and puts it in. So Lopez, her second field goal, four points on the evening so far, 23-13. to 13. So anytime a boy he's trying to, they're trying to crack through that 10-point uh, barrier as McDonald takes it in all the way. So Brittany McDonald, for well, now the first time they have broken in the single digits. It's down to an eight-point lead. It's Furry all the way. That was just a great By finish. Furry. So Furry with six points on the evening. And she's one of the leading scorers for the Golden Tigers here in this first half. It's back out to a 10-point lead. Here's McDonald getting the screen. She'll take the shot and hit. McDonald back to back two point shots and is back down to an eight point lead at 25 to 17. Coming up on five minutes to go in the first That's half a as a traveling game. violation the called game. against Jackson. Back into the game for Morty. This is number 25, Bullard. So Bullard checks back into the ball game for the Lady Tigers with 5.05 remaining in the first half. I haven't heard any thunder sticks here uh, this evening yet. I, I I don't see any this evening. I see yeah. the I see the the silver flags. As that shot, no good. As uh, Golden yeah. Tiger happened, but yeah, I, I, I haven't seen the uh, the thunder sticks. Yeah. I actually don't see any in the crowd today. <laughs> Maybe they banned them because you know, well. Back in 02, when the Anaheim Angels, you know I got to talk about baseball Oh, yeah, again. yeah, that's, that's your sport. Uh, football actually is, but <laughs> I love baseball as well. But the Thunder Sticks, it, it added an extra noise. So the next year, 2003, Major League Baseball banned Thunder Sticks from the park. Oh, wow. Yes. So that's why I was so surprised to see the Thunder Sticks here back here at that first uh, home game. So from a guy that's not a baseball guy, how would extra noise distract players on the baseball field? Hey, any advantage? <laughs> Look at the Astros. Then they, they was hitting garbage cans <laughs> to tip the pitches. So, you know, as the ball goes out of bounds. That's interesting. That's <laughs> yeah. interesting. Ah, yes, I'm telling you. A lot of interesting things just to get a competitive edge. Just a slight competitive edge. Ask Bill Belichick. Oh, well. <sighs> Four minutes and 22 seconds to go. <laughs> I'm a Steelers guy, so I'm all for it. <laughs> and I'm a Dolphins guy, so yeah. Here's Culver. He gets it inside. Bill Bill is stolen there by Lopez. And Lopez is fouled. Blue Bill picks up her first. And that's the team's first in the second period with four minutes and 12 seconds to go. Right now, it's a uh, still an eight-point lead, 25 to 17. The Golden Tigers leading the Lady Tigers. Here's Williams. 
takes the shot. Oh, and she's still cold, still without any points. And she was the leading scorer last year for the Golden Tigers. Here's McDonald, tough shot in the lane, no good. Ball being knocked around. Picked up now by Forey. And nearly stolen, it is stolen. Here goes Inga, gives it up. Ashley dribbles herself in the corner and almost stolen there by Jackson. Well, you could definitely tell the freshman play by uh, Inga, who they call IG, where she brought that defender right to her. Special hello for those of you watching us in Decatur, Georgia, and all around Georgia as well. Here's McDonald. McDonald gets it off. It's Culver. She thought about it. Only four seconds left on the shot clock. Somebody got to pull it up. Bullet too hard off the glass, and that is a shot clock violation. So shot clock violation uh, called against the Lady Tigers. The second shot clock violation by either squad this evening. Three minutes and six seconds to go in the first half. It is 25 to 17, and it's been like that for a little while now. It has. It's been pretty stagnant and, and, and uh, it's been a stalemate here. Williams down the lane. Uh, first basket Finally of the night. Those. Yes. <laughs> the iron was kind to her. But it's back out to a 10-point lead. And, that's, again, that 10-point bubble for uh, <laughs> Voorhees. Here's McDonald trying to do something about it. Lopez comes away with the boards. Up the court it goes. Here's Williams. Can't hit. Gets on rebound. Kicks it back out. Lopez, thought about the three. In the lane it goes, and a soft roller there for a Hannah Cannon. So Cannon, a uh, second field goal. She has five points on the evening, and it's now a 12-point Golden Tiger lead over the Lady Tigers. Here's Culver. Culver. Uh, the ball. It's free on the floor. The Golden, Tigers. Golden Tigers picks up the foul. Forey picks up the foul. That is her second and a team second. Not too many fouls here called in this uh, second quarter. Yeah, definitely been a fast-paced game. Uh, just unfortunately, not much not much scoring. Right. And boy, he's need more scoring now. <laughs> well, they, Coach Glover has definitely addressed that. He brought into the game number 33, Delasia Wilds, who's actually a pretty good three-point shooter. Let's see if she can heat it up. But instead, a turnover. Here's Hicks. Hicks give it off to Cannon. Lopez. Again with the three-pointer, no good. McDonald comes away with it. A minute and a half remaining in the first half. Here's Buckley down low and unable to hit. Oh, Inga. The iron unkind. A minute 15 to go. Here's Williams taking it all the way. And Williams. Beautiful scoop shot. Beautiful. Yes. A second field goal. And that's four points for Williams. She's been quiet for most of this first half, but now she's starting to heat up a little bit. Out of the corner for three, no good. Cannon gets it. I thought she was about to step out of bounds, but <laughs> nice footwork there for Cannon. Williams, as that ball is tipped and picked off. Back come the other way with 40 seconds to go. Lady Tigers are down 31 to 17. Here's Wilds, gives it off. Inside it goes, Lopez. As the ball goes out of bounds, Lopez is called for the foul. That is her second, team's third. And with 32 and a half seconds to go in the first half, Lopez will sit down. 
Lady Tiger's trying to uh, come in on the lead. Wilds! The Laser Wilds! With the first three-pointer, we needed that one. As we'll have a foul the other way. Yeah, she can fill it up, CJ. She can definitely fill it up from the perimeter. And that was desperately needed. And right now, the uh, lead is cut down to 31 to 20. Pittman at the line shooting. Pittman so far, before that shot, she had three points. Now she has four. Second shot, no good. Shot clock turned off. Lady Tigers can hold for the final shot. Let's see if Wiles can put it up again. She's looking for it. <laughs> McDonald with four seconds, three seconds, just inside the three-point line. And McDonald with the shot. And I'll do it for the second quarter in the first half. And it's a 10-point Brunel lead at 32 to 22. And once again, Cam. Back to that magic number. Got to break that bubble somehow. <laughs> but your thoughts uh, here on this uh, first half, and uh, what do you expect uh, will be the, um, I guess, the game adjustments uh, that Coach Glover will make so that we can break this 10-point little spill and actually take the lead? All right. It's a very complex answer. You ready? Oh, yes. Make shots. That's what it boils down to. That's what Coach Glover is going to be telling his young ladies uh, back there in that locker room is that they're getting some of the looks that they want to get, especially down low. Um, they're just not making their shots right now. And that's what it boils down to. At the end of the day, the team that wins is the team that puts the most points on the board. Oh, it's that simple, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> For the Golden Tigers, you got to expect that uh, their coaching staff is, is going to try to get their uh, their star player Talia Williams a little bit more uh, involved in the offense and try to get her going a little bit more. She came on a little bit later on in that, that second quarter, but definitely look for her to kind of heat it up here in the second half. And as far as what the Lady Tigers go, uh, maybe uh, Wilds, uh, can, uh, she hit one three-pointer. She might she might have a hot hand tonight. Right, right. And I think uh, sometimes, you know, one of, one of our, it can be a strength and a weakness at the same time is depth. And I think Coach Glover has a lot of players on that bench. Um, that can really produce. So sometimes, uh, a lot of times, it's just going to be about finding the right combination for that given night. You saw a different starting lineup tonight than you did um, against Kaiser, and I think a lot of the season's going to be that way. It might be, it might be um, Taishima's night. It might be uh, uh, Delasia's night. But you know, it, it's all about finding that right mix, that right chemistry. Well, right now, as far as uh, scoring goes for the Lady Tigers, it's Brittany McDonald night. She has ten points uh, so far uh, in this game, uh, but she will need some help uh, for uh, her other teammates to pick up on the scoring. So we'll see what happens here in the second half. Well, right now we're at halftime. I will score. Brand new Golden Tigers, thirty-two. The uh, Voorhees College Lady Tigers, 22. We'll take this break, and uh, we'll come right back. We'll get you set for the second half. You're watching Lady Tiger Basketball right here on our BC Tiger Sports YouTube page.
Welcome back here to uh, Lady Tigers basketball right here on uh, the VC Tigers sports page. I'm Clarence Jones along with Cam Cameron uh, McLean. <laughs> <laughs> As we're at halftime right now, the Golden Tigers of Brennu or Brennau or however, we're going to discuss this in the second half, ladies and gentlemen. But the Golden Tigers are on a 10-point lead, 32 to 22. And uh, right now, what do you see uh, in the second half that the Lady Tigers need to cut in on this 10-point uh, lead? Um, definitely, like I said a little bit earlier, they've got to put some points on the board. Um, that's the main thing that Coach Glover is probably back there telling his, his players right now, or as they come out, is that they've gotten the looks that they wanted, but they definitely got to convert on a lot of those looks. Because as I've stated a little bit earlier, um, uh, Brennu, Brennu, however you pronounce it, um, they're really good on the, the, the defensive glass. So look for them to try to limit, to, to continue to limit the Tigers in, in, in uh, one shot per possession and try to look for the Tigers to heat it up on offense. We'll see what happens in the second half. Stay with us. Here comes the second half right now. All right, as we start this uh, second half, 32-22 Golden Tigers on top of the Lady Tigers. Just underway here in the third quarter. As Wiles, he keeps Wiles in there. Yeah, got to have that offensive spark. That is short. Coming away with it is more up the up the court it goes and the basket is good for Forey. So Forey, eight points on the evening now, and the Golden Tigers now up 34 to 22. Out of the corner for three, no good. More as she stepped on the line. Oh, they call it Palmer violation. They could have called Palmer violation and. Even she stepped on the line a little bit there. Nine, eighteen to go. In this third quarter, wow, she'll put it up. Short, Lou Bill, unable to hit, but she'll go to the line. So far this season, CJ, it seems like the three-point shooting has been the, the, the Lady Tigers' Achilles heel. And hopefully that Achilles heel can get uh, healed up <laughs> because, you know, that, that can be a crutch, especially later later on in the season when you really need that particular uh, It definitely skill. makes it harder for players like Ashley Johnson and Maylee's new build to get going when all the defense has to do is pack it down low. Right. Newbill at the line, shooting two. And uh, another great thing that we kind of overlooked here, the way to come back and to come back with not wasting any time off the clock. Get your free throws. Yeah, it's always good to get it, to get them at the line. You're stopping the clock, stopping their momentum, and building some of your own. You Back gotta, make. <laughs> gotta make them. That's the only thing. You gotta make them. <laughs> 34 to 23 is our score. Golden Tigers up. Forey. That's a two pointer. That's a two pointer. Foot on the line. 36 23. Coming back with a three pointer of our own. Taishima Buckley. So Buckley, her first three-pointer as a Tiger. And that basket is good. 
Forey. And Forey is the leading scorer for the Golden Tigers here this evening. Across the lane it goes. No. As Ashley Johnson draws the foul. And Clarence, that's, that, that's Ashley's game right there. Getting stuff going to the basket. She's not a traditional shooter. She can hurt you from out. She can hurt you from outside. Don't get me wrong. But her go-to is going to the basket, getting that stuff down low. All right now, Ashley will try to earn it from the line. Eight minutes, 12 seconds to go. Trying to cut it down to a 10-point lead. And right back to square one. It's a 10-point lead. And now if only the Lady Tigers can uh, apply some pressure and try to break it down. McDonald, she understood the assignment. <laughs> McDonald unable to hit. Got the cookies, but no milk. No milk. Seven minutes and 56 seconds to go. Thirty-eight, twenty-eight is our score. Golden Tigers over the Lady Tigers. McDonald gives it off. Ashley Johnson unable to hit. Ashley trying to rip it away from McCarter. Almost. Here's Cannon. Straight away three-pointer is good. That is Cannon's second three-pointer tonight. She has eight points, and it is a 41-28 Golden Tiger lead. Ball goes out of bounds. And let's see. Now they reversed the call. Said it was off of Golden Tigers. Oh, Lady Tigers possession. Ball inbounds. Almost picked off there. Ashley gets it. As it, as it goes out of bounds, they'll say off of Ashley. This is the game for the Lady Tigers. Inga checks back into the ball game with seven minutes and three seconds to go for 41 28 game. Lady Tigers are down. Once again, we also welcome all of uh, people that's watching us, where you're watching us from, and uh, all the comments. We'll get into that in a second as Furry are able to hit. Oh, you got to look up. You got to look up. Looked up a bit too late. Yeah, CJ, she had Inga running the full court by herself right. wide open. If she would have looked up about two seconds prior, that probably would have been an easy two. Ball will stay with Voorhees. 41 to 28 is our score with six minutes and 41 seconds to go in the third quarter. Wilds checks back in. The three point specialist. She gets it at the corner. McDonald. As we have a whistle, the foul. Is on McCarter. So Kate McCarter picks up the foul. I don't think that's McCarter's third now. I think that's really her first. But that's the basket is good by Ashley Johnson. And it's a 41-30 game. Cannon out of the corner. Can't hit. Wilds come away with it. 
Opportunity for the Lady Tigers to close the gap. Ashley turnaround shot, no good. New Bill on with the rebound. Put back is good. It's 41 to 30. And get that shot out of here. Cover comes away with the good defense. That's the spark they needed, CJ. Lopez checks back in uh, to the ball game. Bunkley will check back in uh, for the Lady Tigers. Five minutes and 52 seconds to go. Nine point lead for the Golden Tigers. Lopez puts it in. Few people in the audience believe that she walked. That was a good enough two there, and it's a 43-32 game. Golden Tigers back on top. And Ashley Johnson starting to heat up. 43-34, and now the crowd's starting to get into it. The student section, cannon for three, and she nails it. Ashley's got to get out there a little bit faster than that. Hannah Cannon with a third three-pointer of the game. Those three-pointers are killer drive in the heartbeat, CJ. Yes, it is. 46 to 34 is back out to a 12-point Golden Tiger lead as Bunkley down the lane off the glass. So Buckley with five points here in this third quarter. And it's a 46-36 game. And a timeout on the court. 30-second timeout for Voorhees. And right now, again, the crowd trying to get into it. The Lady Tigers are trying to get into everything. It's trying to go. But when you look up at the scoreboard, it's still a 10-point Golden Tiger lead. Like they used to say in 2K. 10 is the magic number. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, but still, again, they're trying to get back into this camp. But Cannon, right now, she has been a thorn on the Lady Tiger side in this right. third quarter, hitting two three pointers here to keep the lead at 10. Right. So the Tigers are definitely they're doing their part on offense and making some shots, but they've got to batten down those hatches on defense. Those rotations, especially for those three-point shooters, have got to be quicker, and you've got to close out. Under five minutes to go, and this is Williams. Williams kicks it up. Cannon. There's more. They go inside. Offensive foul called on Lopez. And that is a third. And the team's fourth. Clarence, you got to imagine what this atmosphere would be like if we were allowed to have a full fan base in the crowd. Right. And also, uh, President Hopkins is in the house tonight. I can see across court. Yeah, he's getting into it. They got him out of his chair. 46-36 is our score. Four minutes and 35 seconds to go. Wilds just inside the free throw line is no good. Cannon comes away with it. Still can't break that 10-point bubble. Under four and a half to go here in this third quarter. Three-pointer on the way is no good. McDonald comes away with it. McDonald trying to challenge. Oh, yeah. Gets it off. Covert can't hit. And not looking. And it goes out of bounds. Forey. She was grinding up the court. McCarter was throwing it to her. Did not see it. Yeah, that was that was a beautiful pass. Beautiful look. You just gotta finish. Gotta finish. And still had an opportunity to break that 10-point bubble. Right. The Lady Tigers got it down as much as eight points, but nothing closer than eight points. Here's a shot out of the corner for three, and it's good for my Nyla Moore. They've got to get out to those shooters, CJ. They have to. That is the third three-pointer 
put in by a Golden Tiger here in this third quarter. Here comes Williams. Under three and a half to go. Williams looking to go. She kicks it out. Forey can't hit. Here comes Ashley. Gives it off to Wilds. Up the court it goes. Buckley can't hit. McCarter comes away with it. And we'll have a whistle. Looks like it's going to be on Bunkley. Yeah, that's something Tashima's going to have to get used to at this level. In high school, a lot of those would be called fouls. At this level, not so much. That's our second team's first of the third period. Culver checks back in. And Inga checks back in. Coming up on three minutes to go. 49-36 is our score. Lady Tigers down to the Golden Tigers. McCarter goes inside, and it was tipped and picked off. Here comes McDonald. Inga running right beside her. Shot no good. Inga comes away with the rebound. And let's see, they'll call a jump ball. And the possession arrow will give it to Voorhees. Yeah, Inga has to go in a little, has to come in a little bit wider next time. She came straight down the middle. That's also where Brittany was coming at. She has to come in a little bit wider next time. Over with possession. Gives it up. Ashley. Newbill trying to get position. Ashley. And she was fouled by McCarter. So McCarter picks up the foul. I say McCarter, that is her fourth. Now I got to see where the other two fouls happened at. Because I wasn't <laughs> aware that she had that many fouls. As Ashley Johnson unable to hit. Two minutes and 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Action picking up, but again, the scoreboard not in the favor of Voorhees right now. That is now 49 to 37 as Ashley hits the second. We got uh, some BU fans in the house. And they very vocal here this evening in the comments section. I just want to tell you that. <laughs> We'll get into that a little later. Four for three. She's got such a quick release, CJ. And how about this? That is her first three-pointer made this evening. Now, All, everything else was twos. That's surprising. From, from, from the looks of it, she can definitely fill it up from the three-point line. As uh, Moore almost with the steal there. Ashley. Step back. Shot is good. So Ashley Johnson doing all she can to try to get Voorhees back in. And it's 52 to 39. Out of the corner for three. Back to back. Back to back for Catherine Forey. And it is a 55-39 Golden Tiger lead. As well, have a foul. Hannah Cannon picks up her first. Team six foul. Brittany McDonald. Shooting two. It's the first. Minute 27. It's a 15 point Golden Tiger lead. Now we the game for the Lady Tigers and number 21, Bunkley. Bunkley checks back in for the Lady Tigers. Ashley 
closes the gap. Now 55 for the Golden Tigers, 41 for the Lady Tigers from Voorhees. Here is Moore. Moore, floater in the lane, no good. Inga comes away with the rebound. And we got a few uh, Inga fans uh, watching us uh, via Facebook Live. <laughs> Straight away three-pointer, no good. Coming away with the boards, Taylor Williams. Oh, and Taylor, wild shot. And we'll have a foul against Ashley Johnson. Clock stops with 52.5 seconds to go in the third quarter. 55 to 41 is our score. Hicks comes in. Back into the ball game for the Golden Tigers. Back for the Lady Tigers is number 44, Newbill. Newbill comes back in for the Lady Tigers as Inga will go to the bench. So thank you to everybody that's been commenting on via Facebook or YouTube. A traveling violation is called on Taylor Williams. Lady Tigers will have it on YouTube as well as Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so very much. Wherever you're watching us at, however you're watching us, thank you so very much. Yeah, shout out to the fans from Voorhees watching all over and Bray, Bray New. Okay, now we got... We're going to talk about this at the end of the third quarter. <laughs> We're going to talk about this. We're going to get into this because I'm hearing three different pronunciations. As the turnaround shot is good for Ashley Johnson. 55-43 is a 12-point Golden Tiger lead. About a couple of seconds uh, between shot clock and uh, game clock time difference. Shot just inside the three-point line for Stafford. So Stafford gets her first two points of the evening, and it's a 57-43 Golden Tiger lead over the Lady Tigers. There's a shot put up, no good. And at the end of three, it is the Golden Tigers still up 57 and Voorhees, 43. So what do you see there in the third quarter that uh, Voorhees need to really get it going here in this fourth quarter? So uh, right now what they need to do is stop that perimeter, uh, those, those shots from three. That's what they need, they, they, they need to focus on. This, they need to focus on in this uh, fourth and final quarter um, and continue to hit shots. So they did a better job this the beginning of this half than uh, the, the first half of making some of their shots. They got to continue on that success and even build on that while limiting the Golden Tigers to uh, uh, just the first shot. Meanwhile, uh, for the Golden Tigers, in that third quarter, uh, they heated up behind the three-point line, hitting four three-pointers in uh, that uh, third quarter, two by Cannon uh, and two by Forey. Yeah, Forey, again, is somebody that... that from uh, stat-wise, you see she can fill it up. I think she had the most attempts last season and converted on 34% of those attempts. So she had a, uh, 139 attempts last year and, con and converted 34% of those. So she's somebody that can really fill it up. All right, we start the fourth quarter. For now, as uh, our PA announcer would say, <laughs> Good to have him back, Mr. J, Mr. Jefferson, affectionately known as Mr. J. Down inside, counted, and one. And Kayla Stafford. That was just a strong move down low. That was. All right, so let's get into this as Ashley Johnson picks up a second foul. So I was asking people all day the correct enunciation of the college that we're playing right now through now the golden tigers right the golden tigers <laughs> now i come to the arena and i get three different uh uh, uh, uh i guess 
what they call three different versions, their versions. One was Brunal, Brunal. The other one, Brunal. And the other one was Renu. Now, for those who are Golden Tigers fans, could you please let us know in the comments exactly what is the correct pronunciation as that ball was stripped away from McDonald. And McDonald puts it in. So Brittany McDonald is down to a 15 point. She's caused oh. a few turnovers today. She's caused a number of them actually. Oh, up and under move, unable to hit. Put back is no good. All right, so like I said, I, I, I asked the people, especially Golden Tigers fans, what is the correct pronunciation of Brew Now? Now, I get Bro Now. Uh, thank you, uh, Miss McClain, McClendon. Cindy Cannon say, Bro Now, N A U. So, Bro Now, Bro No. Okay, so there is no such thing as Bruno, like no, nah, like no, no, no. There is no such thing as that. I'm asking, I'm asking my Golden Tigers fans that's uh, watching right now. Like I said, we are interactive here during the game and also with our listeners. Under nine minutes to go. Wilds, long range three, no good. McDonald comes away with it. Ball tap, and it's picked off. Back come the Lady Golden Tigers as Goss, high off the glass. And Goss with two points here. And I know she has uh, some people who are watching. It's 64 to 45. Good pass. Oh, my goodness. And unable to hit. So, okay. So, Brunel, Brunel, Brunel. But no brain new. Right. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to check the phonetic spelling of it just to see. But this is very interesting, though, that I did, uh, uh, Golden Tigers fans who are watching, I did get three different versions when I was here at the arena. Now, apparently the first two wasn't no good because they were Voorhees fans, so they didn't exactly know. <laughs> you also got to take into account, depending on where, where you're at where and your dialogue and yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. yeah. See, I'm from New York, so I'm my gnaws and now, 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 you know, it, it, <laughs> it may sound different from, from other folks. And then, of course, if you're down south, you know, it may sound no. So where would Kentucky be considered? I know we're below that Mason-Dixon line. Depending but, on what type of bourbon you have. Well, <laughs> it's 64 to 47, under eight minutes to go. Golden Tigers of Brunel uh, on top. I hope I'm saying it right. Gauze gets it out. Oh, Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Straight away three is no good. Bunkley comes away with it. This is what the Tigers need, CJ. They need buckets and boards. Buckets and boards. They and got the board, but they didn't got, get the bucket. Right. Long outlets pass. They have numbers. Golden Tigers unable to hit. But it's a foul. Called on Wilds. I score 64 for the Golden Tigers. 47 for the Lady Tigers. Seven minutes and 17 seconds to go. In the fourth and final quarter. Make sure, make sure now that you stay tuned. After this game, we'll have second game of our doubleheader. You'll have to switch over 
as Columbia International University will come here into town and will take on the Tigers of Voorhees. That's coming up right after the ladies' game. So you will have to, you will have to switch over. If you're watching us on our streaming uh, on YouTube, you'll have to switch over. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you'll have to uh, switch over as well. All right, uh, let's look into the comment section and look who we have here. Demetrius Relaford, how you doing, sir? Thank you so very much for tuning in. Shout Vivian. out to the frat. Oh. Shout out to my good frat, <laughs> Demetrius Relaford, my pro fight. Vivian Reed Dix, uh, she asks, are these games open to the public? Right now, it's really students only, uh, Vivian. It's only uh, students only and some of the family members of the team players themselves. But other than that, it's mostly students. Uh, but we'll let you know when the games are able for the public to come back and cheer. Because I know the public misses uh, Voorhees basketball. But right now, it's just uh, students only. Three-pointer on the way is no good. Inga try to put back no good, gets her own rebound, can't put it in. Stafford comes away with it. Well, she's caught off from, out, from downtown, hasn't she? Yeah, only hitting one right now. As that shot is good for Stafford. Stafford, six points. Sixty-seven to forty-seven, the largest lead of the game for the Golden Tigers. As Wilds, as you were just talking about it, spoke too soon. But we need plenty of more of that oh, yeah, coming up in these last six and a half minutes. We need those in droves. Shot is way off. Here comes McDonald, Lady Tigers, looking to push, looking to cut in on this lead. Ashley out of the corner. Can't hit. Inga unable to grab it in, and Inga looks a little hurt coming back up the court. Williams unable to hit. Wiles come away with it. Inga, I think, is trying to shake it off. Here's McDonald, and they'll call for walk. Vivian, I, we'll see. Uh, uh, somebody, Vivian asked if she could uh, announce the games with me. I said, well, we'll see. Cam, Cam right now is still on a uh, part-time basis. We'll see. Oh, I'm, on, I'm on a probation. <laughs> uh, probation still on the probation. <laughs> still on the probation. Trying but I'll let you know. Already. No, we're not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But shout out to Vivian V. Dix. She's a very good person. Very good. Very good friend of mine. Uh, 67 to 50 is our score. Five minutes and 50 seconds to go in this ball game. But right now, Cam, no, I don't want to let you go. But just looking at this game, again, the Lady Tigers looked like as far as they was exuding a lot of energy. But this Golden Tigers team is not uh, – letting up here well yeah they're exuding a lot of that energy on the offensive end and it's uh leaving them a little bit tired on the defensive end they got to put just as much effort on that defensive end as they are on the, as she goes right by her right now williams unable to hit the follow is stafford unable to hit gauze unable to hit for them to get back into this game it's going to take maximum effort on both ends of the floor Oh, it's Casey, and Casey she's back Johnson in the ball. The game. That's good to see. That's good to see. Uh, if you missed it, folks, uh, Casey Johnson was uh, driving in pain on the floor back in the first half. It was her shoulder. She went back in the locker room, and as you can see on the five free throw line, she's still testing out that shoulder. Well, I can tell you the reason, one of the reason, main reasons she's back in the game is because she is one of those three-point shooters. She can't hit it from deep, and that's definitely what they need right now to try to get back into this quick. And they also need their free throws to get hit Gotta as well. Got those. those free throws. Game still 67 uh, to 50. Golden Tigers leading the Lady Tigers in the Battle of the Tigers. And coming up after this will be the Tigers and Rams from Columbia International University. 
picked up a dribble. And it's a quick 30 second timeout called by Chris Stewart. As uh, with five minutes and 16 seconds to go, uh, we have a nice crowd on hand here with the uh, students only, but uh, also uh, checking out, we got to say a special hello to Dr. Rodney Hopkins, who is watching us right now, who's watching the game. Thank you, sir. As uh, Dr. Hopkins here, you see with the Voorhees uh, sign there, uh, a lot of the uh, students here with the uh, silver Voorhees sign right now enjoying the game and he will stick around for the second half of our doubleheader as well. Coming out of the timeout, the Lady Tigers, it's still, you still got plenty of time here, but time will become a factor now because I had an old announcer when I was doing games on the radio, he would say, when you have a big lead like that and you're trying to come back, by a certain minute mark, you should be down by this much, that much, this much, that right. much. Right, taking, taking in chunks. Right. And that shot is no good by Williams. Casey along the baseline, can't hit. Gauze come away with the rebound. 4.45 remaining, 17-point game, Golden Tigers on top. Here's Lopez. Gets it out. Here's Williams. Lopez, no good. Finally controlled. And back come uh, the Lady Tigers. Deandra Stroy is seeing her first bit of action here tonight. Yes. As the shot is good by Ashley Johnson. 67 to 52 at the four minute mark. Let's see if the Lady Tigers can uh, get some turnovers here. Here's Lopez. Gets it off. Gauze. Unable to hit. Back come the Lady Tigers trying to cut in on this lead. Ashley, once again, can't hit. I think she was looking for a foul right there. Right. Try to draw a foul. Try to stop the clock. 320 remaining. 67 for the Golden Tigers and 52 for the Lady Tigers of Voorhees. Goals for three, can't hit. And it's off of the hands of Vori. Normally what you want to do in these situations, CJ, is get those buckets quick and then try to jump back into in, into your press and try to create some quick turnovers. But the way that um, Renal has been able to, to just easily beat that that press, you know, you you, you, you kind of wonder what Coach Glover, um, what, he's, what he's telling his young ladies right now. Mm -hmm. Under three minutes to go, McDonald gives it up. It's Bunkley, and a foul is called. Foul is called on Williams. Talia Williams picks up the foul, and that is her second. Once again, thank you so very much, everybody, tuning in on our YouTube page and also on Facebook Live and commenting uh, during the broadcast, we do appreciate you. This is, as you have checked out this evening, it's a broadcast like any other. We interact with our fans. We interact with the uh, the, the those who are watching the game. As Johnson goes to the ground, they call kickball, and it'll belong uh, to the Golden Tigers.
Two minutes and 40 seconds to go in the ball game. Once again, coming up after this game will be the men's portion of our doubleheader. So stay with us and make sure that you, if you're watching us on YouTube, that you switch over to our streaming broadcast label, Voorhees CIU. And that it steps. She walked from here to the Humanities Building. She did. She did. 67 to 52 and 30 second timeout called by coach Chris Smith now in his 10th season running the show as the head man for the Golden Tigers and he is he is the winningest coach in the Golden Tiger program history exactly two and a half minutes to go Yeah, Clarence, if the Tigers are going to make their move, it's definitely now. Well, they got to. I mean, it's two and a half minutes to go. <laughs> Down 67 to 52. Quick shout out to uh, Mr. Smoot in the building. Thank you for uh, coming through. Long range shot for Wilds is no good. Mm. And the Lady Tigers only hitting three three-pointers so far this uh, in this game. Here's Williams. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Ball almost stolen. Lopez picks it up. Only three seconds left on the shot clock. They got to put it up. They do. And it will count. The basket is good. Talia Williams puts it in. So the basket is good. A minute 30 seconds to go. Here is McDonald. McDonald puts it in. She's done it all for the Tigers today. Yeah, she's she's been one of the uh, bright spots for the Lady Tigers, Brittany McDonald, as she almost comes up with the steal there. Falling to the floor. Intense defense. Down 69 to 54. I know I'm being biased here, CJ, but sometimes you got to reward the effort. Got to reward it. Minute 15 to go. 69 for the Golden Tigers. 54 for the Lady Tigers. Coming up on a minute remaining. As Moore trying to burn some clock. 10 seconds. Moore can't hit. But Moore did dribble some seconds off, though. McDonald got to go fast. Basket's good. It's 69 to 56 now. Boy, he's still down with 51 seconds to go. So a timeout here. What a game it would be if it ended up being a 10-point game at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, man. We're doing No. <laughs> no. Well, all game long, for those who are just tuning in, uh, the Lady Tigers – they can never really get past the 10-point deficit. Uh, at one point in time, the closest they came was eight points, being down by eight points. But ever since then, uh, they've never been closer than 10 points in this ball game. Yeah, there's definitely been a brick wall between that 10-point and that eight-point deficit. Well, let's... Well, let's see if we can actually put some three-pointers up there. Because right now, with 51 seconds to go, a few steals, a few uh, three-pointers, we're talking about something here. Let's see if they're going to start fouling. Lady Tigers not fouling. Not yet. Lopez. They burning clock. 
So I guess they got a foul at some point. Oh, offensive foul caught against Lopez. So Lopez is called McDonald trying to get a foul call instead. It's Hicks coming away, uh, uh, Moore coming away with it. So Moore with the basketball all the way to the corner to Pittman. Shot clock turned off. Golden Tigers do not have to put up another shot as we now to stop. Clock stops. Let's see what's going on. I didn't see it. No, no substitution problem. Nothing like that. All right, 15 seconds to go. Shot clock turned off. The Golden Tigers do not have to put up another shot. And this one will go in the books as the first win of the season for the Golden Tigers. Meanwhile, for the Lady Tigers, as the final horn sounds off. For now, 69. Voorhees, 56. Voorhees now dropped a record of one and two on the year. Meanwhile, the Golden Tigers start off the season one and oh. Stay tuned, folks. We'll have the post game uh, wrap up here of this game and we'll get you set for the men's game that's coming up. A reminder, those of you tuning in on our YouTube page, make sure that you switch over streams uh, to watch the CIU Voorhees game. And for those of you watching us on a Facebook Live, make sure uh, you find where you can see the CIU versus Voorhees Tigers streaming, and you can uh, join us on Facebook Live. Thank you so very much for everybody uh, for tuning in. Uh, any final words on this game, uh, Cam? I think you about wrapped it up. <laughs> All right. All right, so stay tuned. We'll have the post-game show coming up, and then uh, we'll have the second part of our doubleheader. So stay with us. You're watching Tiger Basketball right here on the VC Tiger Sports YouTube page.
Welcome back here with the post game show along with Cam McLean. I'm Clarence Jones. Thank you so very much for tuning in as we wrap up uh, this portion of the Lady Tigers broadcast. Uh, once again, the Lady Tigers of Voorhees losing to the Golden Tigers of Bernal by the final score of 69 to 56. But in this game, Cam, you got to look at it. Uh, it was some good shooting from outside the three point line for the Golden Tigers. But not only that, the Golden Tigers never gave the Lady opportun uh, Lady Tigers opportunity for a big run. Right, right. So um, definitely led by Taylor Flory, but also had a big game from uh, Cannon also. Um, and the Tigers, unfortunately, again, those three-point shooting struggles occurred. Um, definitely look for Coach Glover to get back into the uh, to the lab and, and, and try to batten down those hatches and clean that up. So now they got to clean that up. Uh, they got to uh, get things right uh, again. Of course, uh, the Lady Tigers but you got to look at it. Uh, McDonald, she had a good game uh, uh, this evening. Uh, she was one of the uh, lone bright spots as far as on the scoring end. But when you look at this uh, this game altogether, again, the Golden Tigers never gave the Lady Tigers any type of room where they can take advantage. And then not only that, the Golden Tigers didn't make too many mistakes to get the Lady Tigers back into this ball game. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it just seemed like uh, on defense, um, they were just blowing the, the the Lady Tigers were blowing assignments. They were letting the the, the uh, player in front of them go right past them. That's why they weren't they weren't able to set up their press the right way. And why a lot of times it broke down. So definitely look forward in the the next game to come for Coach Glover to again uh, uh, address that issue and see if we can come out and have a better performance. But again, I do want to shout out the player Brittany McDonald. Right. A lot of times you got to um, you got to reward the effort, and she gave maximum effort tonight, along with other players as well. But Brittany McDonald was definitely the start, the, the uh, focal point for tonight's Lady Tigers. And for the Golden Tigers of uh, Forey with those three pointers, and also uh, Cannon also with those three pointers as well. Lopez uh, down low was a, a, a pretty formidable force down there for the Lady Tigers. So uh, once again, congratulations to the Golden Tigers of Bernal. And again, uh, their first victory on the year. Meanwhile, for the Lady Tigers, is back to the drawing board to try to get their second victory of the year uh, after defeating uh, St. Andrews for their first victory. But again, that's why uh, it's a long season. So they one and two now, but still a lot of season to go. And plus, not only that, uh, as Coach Glover mentioned, he's getting his roster stronger and stronger. So there's more and more uh, players that will be uh, eligible to start playing later on this year. So thank you so very much for tuning in uh, for the Lady Tigers broadcast. Want to make sure that you switch over now to the Tigers broadcast as the Tigers get ready to take on the Rams of Columbia International University. You'll see it right here on the BC Tigers uh, Sports Network live on YouTube, and also live on Facebook. So stay with us. The second game of our doubleheader is coming up. Give us about 15 minutes, and we'll be right back.